All right, she's all loaded up, ready to go. Not going nowhere. Good morning, welcome to the channel. Well, for those of you guys who've been following my channel, you know I'm running a B2650 Kubota. And when I bought the B2650 Kubota, um, I bought it because I bought uh, multiple properties and I wanted to mow and clean the snow out of the rental units that I had. So part of the business plan was to offer uh, free, snow, free snow removal and grass cutting. Because my opinion was, if you don't, they won't do it. And as a fireman, I thought to keep the grass down and also keep an, uh, an open laneway for if there was an incident that happened that the uh, first responders can get in. I've seen too many times that the driveway is plugged up solid and you can't even get in the driveway. So that was why I bought it. So the property we bought is five and a half acres. So I'm mowing 98% of that. One of my other properties is almost two acres. I'm mowing that. And uh, another property is about an acre, but I'm getting my son to mow that one because that's where he lives. Um, so I've expanded what I'm doing. I'm doing a little plowing for my local church and a bigger tractor would plow a little more snow be nicer for that and i'm doing some trail work on the atv trails last three years so a little bit heavier tractor a little more hydraulics i think would be nice now for whatever reason my dealer does not want to take my tractor back <clears throat> he keeps saying go sell it you'll get more equity out of it than uh, what what you'll get from us and come in and see me and we'll buy a new tractor well i got a little over a year left on my lease so at this point i'm just going to wait um yeah but you know what it is when you go into the dealership you see things and i've been really uh really thinking about a bigger tractor I've been thinking also, what about a second piece of equipment? Maybe uh, a Mini X, do a little heavier work with front end loader. Uh, Mini X would be kind of good. I had a Mini X before I had the tractor, but it was an old, old one. Didn't have a, a whole lot of power. Um, I thought the tractor would be more versatile than the Mini X, so that's why I sold the, uh, the Mini X about the tractor. And, and I've been wanting an excavator, Mini X. And um, I was saying Mini X, but I was bad skid steer earlier. Um, yeah, I thought about a skid steer, um, but I went to a tractor. So I could run implements on the back. So is a skid steer the right tool? If you're going to do a lot of loader work, yeah, maybe a skid steer is the answer. But yeah, I'm not sure. And then, even when I first bought my tractor, I would like to complement it with a Mini X. And I ended up buying a backhoe for my tractor, and I don't use it a lot, but I use, it's there when I need it, um, but it's some handy, but it's not, it doesn't have the capability of a Mini X. It takes a little bit longer to do stuff, um, it's fairly slow, you know, if you're digging a straight trench, it's not bad, but if you're doing stuff, sometimes it's hard to get into places with a tractor, with a backhoe. You're limited on your swing. There's a lot of things that the Mini X really doesn't, or a backhoe really doesn't give you the capability to do. Well, my tractor broke and I had to take it to the dealer. Um, it's under insurance. I think I dropped a rear, uh, either an axle or maybe the whole rear end's gone. I don't know. They're they're just in the process of taking it apart. 
and I'm heading there now to pick up a piece of equipment because I went to the adult candy store or adult toy store well uh, not adult toy store because I went to the dealer and seen something interesting and I decided to make the plunge and I'm on my way to pick it up it's ready to go um, I have ideas for it and guess what I got things I want to build for it so we're going to pick it up uh, I'll share that with you I'll show it to you and I've already got two jobs to go do today so uh, let us go see how we make out all right we did our first excavating job with the new machine what do we do about 40 feet yep. 40 feet of digging now the customer is gonna lay some pipe and he's gonna have fun and maybe we'll come back and fill it in for him we don't know so here Matt's second job a couple load of crushed rock this job would be better with the tractor for sure but the tractor is not available so we're gonna do it with the great excavator and we're gonna get her done good morning how is everybody today well on the way home from work I stopped and looked at a little job that somebody wants done and uh, uh, we're gonna go after it so I'm heading back to the job site I got the new piece of equipment on the back the mini X is on the back and uh, so there's a little bit of work there got to uh, smoothen out some R5 I uh, got to dig out some mud and some pavement the driveway is quite similar to what my driveway is like terrible must have moved on them anyway they're building it up making it stronger uh, so you want some stuff moved around he claimed that he had some equipment there and sent it back so I don't know why uh, he sent it back too early but anyway so I think the customer is looking to park in their driveway so we're gonna make that happen today so we're on our way. I got to unload the Mini X. I didn't want to attempt to put it in the dump trailer today. Uh, maybe sometime I will. But uh, today we're going to uh, go over the flatbed. I may dig and put some stuff in a pile. Spread out some of the stuff that they have to spread out. And then come home, get the dump trailer. And take the load of crap away and then I get, unfortunately I'm going to have to bring that stuff home. It's only a half hour from home. So it's not terrible. Uh, I was hoping he was going to look after the junk. But anyway, so all good. We're going to get her done. Alright, I'll do some videoing. Enjoy the, enjoy the ride.
right, everybody. So as you all know, I bought myself a little Mini X, and I'm just getting ready to load up, going to do a job. Seat's wet, so I'm going to put my rain pants on. Um, sunny out, so it looks like it's going to be a nice day. So it's been a week since I bought the machine, brought it home. Uh, last Wednesday, it's Wednesday today, I, uh, I picked it up at noon. I ended up doing two jobs that afternoon. I worked on Thursday and then Friday I did another job. So here's job number four. Um, if it keeps going like this, I'm happy. So, so far so good. Uh, I run a few different excavators in my time and uh, this one's working pretty good. I'm quite happy with the way it works. It's not the slowest and it's not the fastest. It's actually pretty fast. Actually, I'm quite pleased. So anyway, I'm going to load her up here and we're going to get ready to hit the road. All right, we're heading, heading to the job, the 40 minute drive, nothing too crazy. Uh, today's job is uh, dig, dig a trench for an electrical wire from the gentleman's house to his garage and he wants it down below grade or frost so we're going to go four feet deepish and uh, yeah so it should be pretty straightforward <coughs> nothing too crazy so I haven't had the uh, Mini X for a week and I'm already on my fourth job so I'm pleased, uh, pleased with that glad that I'm getting work with it. It was a little scary to uh, make a big purchase like this and uh, it's not too bad. The biggest problem is advertising, getting your name out there. So um, yeah, so we're gonna work away. I'm not worrying about it too much this fall. We're, uh, we're looking more for next year. But it's nice to get uh, three or four jobs under my belt. I uh, talked to a gentleman yesterday about digging around his foundation. He uh, He's just trying to look for ideas and prices for next year. So it's not a job that's going to be this year. But once I got there and talked to him, he had uh, quite a number of jobs that he wants done. So uh, it may be a, a repeat customer. So as long as we do a good job, price it right and uh, we can get some work. I, uh, at this point, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not even looking very hard and I'm getting lots of, uh, lots of people calling and uh, I'll be glad when I get my tractor back. But if I can do uh, day jobs like I'm doing today, which is only going to take me realistically maybe two, two and a half hours, three hours, uh, those are the ones you make money on. They're too small a job for for uh, bigger contractors to do, and they're not interested. So we're going to uh, aim at those jobs. I've got a job lined up for next Thursday uh, to dig some holes for some fruit trees in preparation for next year. So uh, we're going to see some different stuff. Uh, leveling driveways and so yeah so it's gonna be interesting and right now I put my machine on to rent I'm not really interested in renting it but if I have to rent it ten times a year to make it feasible and help pay the payments that's what I'm gonna do but when someone reaches out I uh, mentioned to them that I probably can do the job cheaper by coming out and doing it and operating the machine then they can renting the machine and paying a float charge so that's that's my business motto and it seems to be working and I'm operating the machine and that's what I'd rather be doing than having somebody else do it so anyway it's working out I'm pleased and we're getting some work and yeah so we're having a little bit of fun all right show you when we get to the job.
tub here, nothing too crazy. Wants it to come up here. I'm gonna try to make me keep it straight. Too big a job. A couple hours. We'll lay some. Let me throw the rope. Drop the thing for you. done loaded the machine get her tied down and head her home all right she's all loaded up ready to go not going nowhere anyway we got the job done and again it's not a pretty hole but the best I could do with the dirt so he's got a nice trench there he'll be able to put his wire in and he's good to go all right, let's head her home. All right, everybody. Got the sun in my eyes. Anyway, here's my new purchase. I just got back from a job. I'm just getting ready to clean her up. Um, I was a little nervous about buying it. Uh, the reason why I chose this one, it was on the lot. Earlier this spring, uh, they didn't have much on the lot. They had... Uh, a 1.7 I think that's way too small for what I wanted I was thinking I wanted a three to three and a half but when I seen this one and took a took a look at it I thought yeah I think I can deal with this one so I've done a total of one two three four four jobs Got another one to do tomorrow and another one next week lined up already so I'm pretty happy with the way it's working and it's a nice looking machine it operates pretty smooth it's not huge it hauls pretty good I'm still learning I've got lots to learn I got them to uh, install a case return because I think I'm gonna rig up my uh, stump grinder on this or buy a stump grinder and also probably um, a two foot flail mower is what I'm thinking so I've got 14 hours on it I think it had seven when I bought it 
and yeah like I said it's a nice nice working machine and I'm pretty pleased uh, the U means it's got no tail swing so when you're swinging it over your tracks the tail doesn't go past when you're swinging it over your tracks the tail doesn't swing over the track so you can get in quite close um, like I say so far so good we're getting uh, getting some work and I got seven hours on it and I mean I'm having fun so uh, that's, that's even better so anyway, we're gonna work away I've got work around here to do and so we're, we're dealing with that yeah you see that over there well that one's not mine actually I gotta go call the dealer and see what's going on uh, that one there is actually the guy that bought the backhoe I'm going to uh, tomorrow my plan is to install the hydraulics and stuff on it and then we can get the backhoe to him so uh, yeah so pretty pleased with what I've got here and I got a couple of lights to fix on the trailer so that's what I'm going to do next well thanks for watching appreciate it I'll throw some video I hope you enjoyed the video of the jobs I did um, I figured out how to mount the GoPro on the machine now so that's a lot better and we'll be able to do some more some more videoing of excavator work along with tractor work and along with some side-by-side -side runs Thank you. Have a great day.